Yes, Kenyans, you should get worried. The reason as to why I'm saying Kenyans, we should get worried is because the statement Oscar Sudia Meweza Kupeana, it speaks a lot. And this statement, when you listen, Kumbali, it's like this is uh, something you could determine. And definitely, Gashawa is going home. From the look of things, this video, you are going to listen and you are going to comment or you are going to say or you are going to give your opinion. Wakati sudi anasema kwamba, wa Kenya tutulie, wakisha maliza kazi yao, watatuambia the reason as to why they are bitching irigadi gashawa. Why are they not telling us right now, this is the reason as to why we want to impeach irigadi gashawa? From there, Kenya nisibasi sisi pia tutaelewa. Now, hizi ni sababu gani anasema, they are going to tell us zenye zinafanya rigadhi gashawa hawa impeached apart from zile zenye ziko bungeni. Does it mean, apart from zile, nini, zile sababu ambazo walitepo uko kwa parliament, ni zingine na hizi ambazo sudi ataenda kutuelezia? And from the look of things, these people they think, like rigadi gashawa ile time wakati tulikuwa tunafanya maendeleo ya gen C na millennials ilikuwa sponsored by rigadi gashawa na alikuwa anataka kupendwa serikali from that video if you listen very well that's what sudi means kwamba serikali ilikuwa ipenduliwe meaning rigadi gashawa alikuwa apendwe serikali amesema kwamba Tulichagua viongozi ama MP to represent wananchi but now my question ni did we fought for them to represent us only during impeachment wakati sisi tuko na shida shida ambazo zimefanya mpaka wananchi wanapoteza maisha they are not there they are not discussing but wakati wa impeachment wako huko available the day yenye rigadhi gashawa alikuwa impeached Almost all of them walikuwa wachache ndio hawakukua. Following the day wakati walikuwa na motion zingine vitu za maana walikuwa wa discuss wengi wao hawakukua. So hawa viongozi wametupepa yani wametuona kana kwamba sisi ni watu ambao tunabebwa tunapelekwa kama wili baro venye alituambia tunaekelewa mahali tunambiwa sasa nyinyi tulia hapa nikirudi nitawachukua. Kenyans we should get worried about Sudi remarks. And if we are not going to be very careful with these leaders, trust me, umemskiza vizu, utamskiza vila anasema kwamba, akuna vile mtu wata ata liye na wanainzi na mnagani. This is a closed deal. Ata aliye na wanainzi na mnagani. Awawezi wakamuokoa. Basi na sisi tunasema hivi. Hata muonge na mnagani, ruto pia must go. Kama rigadhi gashawa ni mbaya, basi pia dereva wake ni mbaya. Atuwezi tukabebewa akili miaka mingi. Hata hiri komoni nitawekia video ya mesema kwamba, kama munataka sasa mahali mefikia kila mtu wa bebe risasi, basi tutaende hiyo mkondo. Because inaona ni kama hapo ndiyo tunelekia. This statement, according to me, it has something kumbali. And guys, if we are not going to be very careful, I saw someone saying, kama wa Kenya hamta kuwa makini sana, kuna crashes ambazo zitaenda kuhapeni ambazo atuta zikombwa ama atuta kombwa hii nzi. Let's be very careful and let's pray for this Kenya. Anyway guys, let's listen to his speech. Then from there, pia wewe utaniambia maoni yako ni yapi. Ama umelichukuliazi ilo jambo ambapo sudi ya mesema kwamba, ata tuelezea badai. Anyway, wakenya tumezoea kubebewa akili. Let's watch this video, guys. Najua wakenya wengi wanajulisa maswale kwa sababu au jepata kujua vizuri nuni naendelea kwa imana na impeachment. Nataka ni wambia wakenya mulichagua wajumbe wawakilishe katika taifa la Kenya. Be patient. We will explain for you one by one after we have done with with our work. So please, I want to ask to ask all Kenyans to be patient, to be calm. For once, 
believe in us because we are not mad. More than 280 MBs versus 349. We are not mad. What I want to tell you, just be patient. And what we are doing, it, it, is, the, the, it is for the country and it is good for the country after these old things I see some people that are sponsoring uh, others to say, oh, Ruto must go, so you what? That's not a problem. We have to secure our country first. Yoyote, inaendelea hapo na kukua sponsor, ni kama ila GNC. GNC walifanya kazi yao, kusukia kwanza. Wiki ya pili, ilikuwa kubadilisha serikali. Na tutawa ambia kila kitu pole pole. Number two, Haiwezekani. Haiwezekani tena. Na hii ninasema kabisa kutoka kwa roho yangu. Haiwezekani tena mtu mmoja kusukuma jamii moja kwa ukuta against the Kenyans. That one will not happen again. Unajua watu watu wadogo na watu wengine very selfish hawakuwa na what happened 2007 2008. Na ndio mimi na Simamanga kila siku naambia tafadhali tuwache ukabila. Hauwezi ukasukuma e, jamii moja kwa ukuta. Oh sisi. Oh sisi. Against the other Kenyans. We will get rid of you because wewe ni adui mkubwa sana wa nchi. Na hii mambo yote tutawaambia tulijaribu kumuongelesha, tumejaribu kukuongelesha kama kiongozi. Na mambo mingi kwa hapo ndani. So you are never tax forever tax we must get rid of our deputy Tuko na watu wengi kutoka hiyo mlima inasema izuguse mrema sijui mrema sijui mrema tukilala mrema tukiamka mrema tukiamka fitina tukiamka sijui nini wewe ni kiongozi umechaguliwa badala ukuje upande wa uongozi na upange uongozi umeruka upande wa raia kwanza kulia na raia that one will not happen ata uchoche kiasi gani uzuri ukweli na uongo itaridhika siku moja so we don't have to to, to worry mimi as, as, as one person sudi sitalete shida katika inji na mninyamazie mtu mmoja pia aisilete shida hatuwezi kuwa wazimu sisi wote wale wengine wote alafu mtu mmoja anaweza kuwa anajua please I want to ask Kenyans relax to listen boli hii mambo ni ya viongozi na itaisha na mtajua ukweli na hii Kenya lazima iendelee that's what I want to say if you want young people to hold guns if you want us to go the banana republic way if you want young people to blood to be on the street washike gani hivi kama kama south nini inaitwa hapo Sudan na Lebanon fanya hiyo pumbavu ya 7 years you can only push people so far hata paka ukimweka kwa kwa nini kwa kona plug hiyo paka atakugwara there are things we cannot be discussing at the time limits na mazee watu wamekufa leo kwa OC juu ya NHIF mazee ma lecturers wako shule Wana, wanafunzi wako shule walimu wako shule hakuna madawa how can we be discussing term limits of a president who we are currently saying must go atumtaki saa hii So una unaongezaje 7 years? Kuna kuna vitu vingine wakijaribu bro. Watachoma nchi na wanajua watumie akili pia. We can't have that discussion here bro. Ati sasa president akwenda 7 years. It's retrogressive, it's primitive, it's backwards. Not in 2024. And not anytime soon. No, the term limits of every MP and president should be 3 years. Inafaa hata kupunguzwa. Yeah, 